What do you think? Good. Wow. What's happening, everybody? Good morning. It's Friday. Uh, what is it? August uh, 12th already. So tomorrow's the big day for Luke and Ashley. But uh, getting ready to head into work for the day. I slept like a log last night. I think I got seven hours of sleep. I was in bed by like 11, which is good. And I feel good. I'm maybe going to be hung over unless I can get some good food in me. Good greasy food. Um, it's a good time last night. Really good time. So I think Luke and Ashley had a good time. Ashley's, uh, she's, she's staved it off until now, but she's, I think she's finally getting uh, nervous and stuff. So she was in serious mode last night. But, um, it was a good time. Got to see uh, uh, some old friends of theirs that I haven't seen in a long time. Got to uh, meet some uh, like friends of theirs that are longtime friends, but just don't live around here. So uh, that I'd never met before. I've been hanging out with Luke and Ashley for like five years or something like that now. Um, so a really good time. Uh, Luke's family's awesome. Ashley's family's awesome. So I'm really looking forward to this wedding. It's, it's going to be a really good time. Uh, just remembered I got to get the mail from yesterday in the paper. So uh, stay tuned for more. Um, yesterday was awesome. So Ashley's brother, he drives like a, it's a Volkswagen CC. I don't know what it is, but he says it has a single KO4 turbo. Um, but when we were driving there or whatever, he was messing around. We were fucking around and stuff. And he's like, oh, at, later on, he's like, oh, your car's slower than I thought. And he's like, oh, that's that's not good for twin turbo KO4s. I'm like, dude, I have KO3s. He's like, oh, really? But uh, he's like, yeah, I, I, I totally race you and beat you, but, you know, I got a boost leak and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, everyone's got a boost leak. So it's been, I've had my car for almost two years. I've been waiting for this day, but I finally had someone use the boost leak excuse for uh, keeping up with me or whatever. So that's like a... For those of you that don't know, for like turbo racing or turbo cars and the whole, all that stuff, that's like a common like um, cop out. Like, oh, I would have had you, but I got a boost leak or whatever. So uh, I thought that was funny. Um, that reminds me though, I need to go to the Audi dealer and pick up some G12 coolant. So I use, well, I have a little bit left uh, in the that I keep in the car just in case to top off or whatever. But uh, I used uh, the rest of it up um, when I did the last work on my car, so last week or whatever, last Monday. So I need to pick up, I need to hit the dealer. So there's one by my work, otherwise um, it, there's there's none close to the house here. Um, yeah, I wanted to do that over my lunch break. Oh, I brought my pixel stick because... I was like, man, I wonder if there's like an app for long exposures and I can like play with my pixel stick, that sounds bad, over like my lunch break or something and test out all those new patterns. I didn't have any time last night. So I uh, sure enough found an app on the phone and you can do, well it said 10 seconds, I don't know if you can change that or do longer or more, but uh, yeah, I'm going to look into that and... Uh, I'm hungry. I gotta get some food. So, see you out there. Alright, so it's been quite the day. Uh, it's really overcast outside right now, but it's not currently raining. Um, I just went out and had to grab some food because I uh, made a lunch, packed a lunch this morning at home. When I got to work, I found out that uh, I must have left it on the counter at home. So, I had to go out and buy lunch. Uh, I got Subway today. And I'm going to try to sneak my pixel stick into work and uh, test out some patterns and stuff using that um, long exposure app on my phone um, while I still have some uh, a few minutes on my lunch break. So stay tuned for more. Alright, so this is my test for the pixel stick. Just trying a bunch of different... 
logos out that I made. That one was only two seconds long. Let's see how it looks here. Okay. I'm hoping it'll look better with my real camera. This the stuff on my cell phone looks terrible. So I just did two of them here. Hmm. Okay. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I'm just getting out of work for the day, and I'm tired. Uh, I got out of work a little bit late, actually. It's um, it's like a quarter after five right now. But, uh, so I loaded the files onto the pixel stick and I tried to do that thing where I shot it with my, well, yeah, you saw it in the last clip, probably, where I used my phone and try to, um, capture long exposures. The app on the phone doesn't really look good, so I'm gonna have to test it out maybe later tonight or something with my good camera, see if it'll work, if it's any good, whatever. And, uh, other than that, Nikki's on her way, and I think her and I are both just freaking tired as hell, so, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna go, probably stop, I need to stop and get some gas, and then I need to pick up some groceries and booze and stuff from the grocery store. So I will be doing that pretty soon here. Uh, yeah, I can't even think straight today. So I was playing Delta Wars today and I, you know, I was just getting frustrated. Like I, I was spawned on this map where I'm completely surrounded by bad guys. And these are guys that have been playing the game for presumably years. And I'm like been at it for a week. So it was literally just like me and one other guy in this spot, and we're in the middle of the map. So um, what I had been doing was I was kind of just like learning like the ropes and tactics and, and tricks and stuff, and basically just just fucking with the uh, the bad guys as as much as I could. Um, I did it enough where I got the attention of a guy named uh, his his player name is Harry. But I looked up, he's like number four in the entire game. So, this guy, um, he moved in these Patriot missiles to hold me back because I kept just, you know, poking a stick at these guys. And then, uh, that was about eight hours ago. Well, maybe six hours ago. And then, uh, he coordinated with two other guys and they just wiped me out over the last like half hour so from like 4.30 to 5 they just smoked my base it took a while for him to do it I wanted him to do it in the game you can actually relocate or move bases if you only have one base I had two bases so I needed him to kill my second base and now I'm free to do whatever um so it is what it is, but, uh, I'm cool with it, because I'm freaking, I was, I'm like, I need to have some fun, like, this sucks, this is not fun at all, so, I'll just set up my computer, and mine, like, all weekend, and all next week while I'm off, and just collect resources and stuff, and then, uh, I'll jump maps to a map that my team, or my alliance, has a better um, foothold on. Uh, I haven't done any trading in crypto. I don't think I traded yesterday. So yesterday and today the market was flat. Still mining, but uh, yeah, it, it, it sucks that I'm not really able to um, trade. I, you know, I, I lost like I don't know, almost 0.1 bit. I made 0.1 Bitcoin and then I pretty much lost it like the next day or whatever. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Like, the mining is like steady income 
trading is like fucking anything goes. So, I mean, I was dabbling in it and stuff, but it, it's so dicey, the trading, that they call it pump and dump, where like people just buy up, buy up, and it makes it go up so everyone gets in, and then they just go boom and sell, and then you're stuck like in the market, and then the price drops really low, and you're like, great, I'm, wow. Um, I'm supposed to go over to Jen and Steve's tonight, and I don't think, uh, I really don't want to go, I'm tired. Vicky's going to be tired as shit when she gets there, or here. Uh, she wanted to leave work early, and she, it, it didn't happen, so she left about an hour ago. So, she'll be getting into town probably about 7, somewhere between 7 and 8. So on the way home, I'm going to stop, pick up some groceries, get some gas, and then, uh, I don't know. I need to figure out what I want to do with this car. So this this car is going to need some, some major money put into it relatively soon here. It's, the turbos are kind of, they're really tired, let's put it that way. Um, the engine's leaking, it has a bunch of leaks. And my torque converter is still slipping or whatever. So I think, uh, I don't know. I, th I think maybe over this winter, I might have to pull the, pull the motor out. Um, for sure, I wanna, when I do it, I wanna for sure get a new torque converter. I think it's like 500 bucks. I really want those those upgraded side mount intercoolers. Those are about I don't know 800, and then turbos, turbos, and then just reseal the motor. So I think I just want to go with OEM style Borg Warner KO4 turbos. This car right now has OEM Borg Warner KO3s, so they're the most reliable. That's they're still putting those KO4 turbos on brand new cars to this day because they're good. They're solid. Um, yeah, they're not going to make as much power as all these other hybrids and all this crazy shit that's out there, but those are all like homebrew, homemade junk that are like basically just for racing, not for daily driving and stuff. So when people are like boasting that their turbos lasted 3,000 miles, I'm like, fuck that. Like, I'm going to be driving 12,000 miles in a year, so I need turbos that aren't going to, like, take a dump. Um, so, I, you know, I just need to look into this. So, it, the turbos, I don't even know. They're probably in between two and $4,000 because you got to get two of them. And then you have to buy bigger inlet pipes. Um, and you can get just the turbos without doing all the fueling. Oh, that's what I was going to say, too. I noticed, like, sometimes, like, my car, it cranks and cranks and cranks before it starts. I'm thinking my fuel pump's about to go out. So I'm going to look into whatever fuel pump people use for KO4s and ask or verify that it'll work eventually with, with E85 gas. And I just basically want to start you know paving the road with upgrades or, or mods or whatever that fix problems before they they become major problems so like yeah the turbos are working good but they're leaking oil like a motherfucker this car has 151,000 miles on it like let's get real it's gonna need some work here um and that's so that's the torque number and the the turbos have that kind of mileage on it um, so, yeah, I just need to basically get on top of all this stuff. So, I don't know what that would, would cost if you just add all that up total. Um... I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five thousand dollars for everything. So that'd be torque converter, side mount intercoolers, um, turbos, and I, you know 
know, for the turbos, I'm really thinking I should buy new. They're, um, they're too much of a precision part that takes a lot of wear and tear and needs to be good that I, you know, I, I've been buying used parts and getting burned. So, um, I don't, I don't know. I need to, uh, need to start kind of coming up with a game plan or something. So, uh, right, what I really need to focus on doing is saving the money that we collect from our weddings. So, um, that's going to be my main goal as much as possible. So I don't have much of an emergency fund. I have two savings accounts. I have my investments and whatever, but you know, I, I'm almost at this point, I'm almost thinking about scaling back my 401k contribution. So I'm contributing 8%, which is a lot of money out of my paycheck. Um, I was doing that to rebuild up my 401k, but you know, I just, I feel like I'd never have a, like money. Like I never have extra money each pay period or each month or whatever. Um, bills, I mean, I, I don't have a ton of bills, but it's just, I don't have much take home money. And like, like this whole week I didn't grocery shop and it's totally biting me in the ass. Like I've been eating out like lunch was like eleven dollars at Subway. I'm like, what the fuck, you know? Um, breakfast was five bucks, and I think I bought breakfast every day this week, so that was you know twenty five, thirty bucks. Uh, this week I was mostly packing my lunch, but it's like, God. Last night I think I spent over a hundred bucks on drinks. We went out to the bar after Luke's rehearsal dinner. And, uh, you know, like, I, I don't know. These, these fucking bars, they just give you drinks. And then they just, you know, well, someone will pay for it later. So um, we went to a bar. Our friend was a bartender. And everyone's being just stupid and stuff. And we wanted to leave. So I just walked up. I'm like, dude, like, how much, how much is the tab for everyone's drinks that hasn't paid you yet? Because, like, I know, like, Luke had some drinks that he, that wasn't paid for. His dad had drinks. And who knows what else. So, um, she hooked me up. The bill was, like, 20 bucks. So, I gave her, like, a $20 tip because I was like, yeah, that's totally not correct. But, um, Having, I'm having a um, focused issue with slowing down and enjoying um, life. I feel like I'm just always inundated with technology and electronics. And I'm gaming on my phone. I'm gaming in my browser on my computer. Um, I'm playing with a pixel stick. I'm doing these vlogs. I'm editing video and I'm, I'm editing photos. I'm shooting photos. And like, I'm gonna have to sit down and think really hard. And maybe, maybe I'll have a talk with Vicky and say, like, you know, what are your thoughts on like an unplugged vacation maybe like next year or something? Because, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just like burned out. Just kind of sick of it all. So, I need to give her a call and uh, get these errands run. I've been, I'm loaded up on caffeine and this is how mellow I am, so that means tonight I'm not going to be able to sleep, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for more. Yeah. Um weather is absolutely ridiculous I don't know what's going on I don't haven't really been checking the weather lately but we have massive flooding 
there's this is a huge puddle in the road that we're all driving around and it's just crazy so I was gonna stop and go get groceries but it's already it's almost 6 30 and I need to get home and get the Sophie I'm not gonna want to go potty with uh, this rain like this but uh, so I don't know I think I got a frozen pizza that I can uh, throw in the oven and that's about the last of the food that I got otherwise it's like toast and jelly or something um, <clears throat> So maybe I'll try to get the oil changed, I don't know, I couldn't find my oil drain pan and my damn um, filter wrench is, I think it's in my storage unit. Thank you for uh, cutting in front of me when your lane was blocked, buddy. See ya. Okay, so what do you do when you want to get the mail and it's completely flooded? What are those? Got my pants rolled up and my Crocs on. So I can get to the... It's like a completely flooded here. And my feet are wet.